It's based upon those guidelines. So depending on what guidelines you use, uh, if you look at asthma, for example, asthma is broken down into various stages from an intermediate, mild, moderate, and severe. And that can be based upon various symptoms. Patients may have shortness of breath at night, how many times they use their rescue inhaler. So there's various metrics that are used to determine that. Um, and actually for when we're talking about asthma, we also have to talk about uh, COPD. So COPD, when we're talking about analyzing those type of patients, we actually have to look at three different things. We have to look at what's called their FEV1 or, and their FEV1 FVC, which is a spirometry maneuver, forced expiratory volume in one second, and their forced expiratory volume in one second over their forced vital capacity. So we look at that parameter, and we also look at what we call the MMRC scoring system and the, what's called the CAT, C-A-T scoring system. Once we have those three together, we can determine the level of COPD. A person may have mild, moderate, severe, or very severe. So that's the way to assess, and actually the way to determine treatment and so forth is once that diagnosis is made based upon those metrics and that criteria, once a pharmacological treatment is initiated, we then want to look at those parameters to see if there's improvement in those metrics and quality of life.